Hey guys, welcome, welcome, or welcome back to my channel. This is Terry speaking, and oh my gosh, it has been a while since I've been over here talking to you guys. Uh, oh my gosh, <laughs> I just want to say I apologize for like neglecting you guys for so so long. It's been literally two years since I posted like a video like this. Um, I recently posted a video like like a green set, a green ombre set, but that video was filmed two years ago and I never posted it. I don't know. <laughs> I just fell off the bandwagon basically. But now I'm back and uh, I'm just basically from here on i'm just gonna try to like film me doing my clients and just you know try to upload frequently um i've just i just got like really busy and just couldn't figure out a schedule on how to like record and do stuff over here so i'm trying to work on that and you know just try to be frequent over here so um onto the tutorial you guys see me here applying my orange acrylic this was a custom color that i mixed myself well i actually made it using chalk and clear acrylic and uh, then I just go in with my clear acrylic to basically build up the nails and create my apex and so on. So yeah, <laughs> that was an explanation for me being MIA for like two years. And I hope you guys can forgive me and I hope that I can be more consistent over here. Um, I mean, I do news every day, so might as well. I just try to film. I finally got a tripod. Is it a tripod? Uh, I finally got something that I can just put my phone in so that I could just, you know, film easily. I'm still trying to work on my angles and so on. So please bear with me as I get used to this because it seems as it, it, basically everything is brand new, okay? It's brand new. It's a whole new channel. Okay, so let's do this. So here I'm applying nude acrylic to the ring finger. And I will be applying this to the middle finger as well. Because these two fingers, I will be adding like pigment on top of it and so on. My client came in with these cute nail designs. She showed me the inspo which you guys will see later on in the video and i try to like replicate it as much as possible so i left these uh two nails in real time so that you guys can like kind of get a feel of how fast i work and like i'm not lying compared to like before I used to rush it. <laughs> no, I'm trying to like take my time and just apply the acrylic as neat as possible and just clean up the nails wherever like any acrylic go over like onto the cuticle. I just try to clean that up as much as possible. Focus on building the apex and so on. So yeah. I know that I'm just talking a lot right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try to explain what's going on in this video. You guys saw me apply the cuticle bead. I went in with this small bead right to the cuticle. I didn't put it right on the cuticle. I just put it a little bit away from there and kind of push it up. And then I saw that I needed some more acrylic there just for like pigment. And I just lightly brushed that down and blend it into the rest of the acrylic. Now I'm just going to go ahead and 
speed this part up because I'm basically just applying acrylic. I'm applying the new to the middle finger and then I'll add orange to the pointer and the thumb as well. Yeah, so I don't know if, if you guys saw the previous video that I uploaded recently, that green ombre nails, <laughs> basically like baby, I can see the difference in my work. I can see the difference in my work like from two years and I, I was not going to post that video, but I was like, oh, what the heck, let me post it because I just want to see like how far I'm coming from mind you I have other videos and so on but when I saw that set like at that point I was like <laughs> that set was the bomb but currently since of late I'm seeing like more improvement in my work and I can't wait to improve even more in my work like I keep getting better and better at it Thank you, God, <laughs> because we, oh my gosh, sometimes, sometimes it's a struggle. It's a struggle sometimes, you know, but you know, you just have to keep on practicing and just keep motivated to continue to do my best. So right here on this point, I'm just going to explain what I'm doing. I applied the acrylic right where the tip meets the free edge of the natural nail and prior to adding on any colored acrylic i did go in with a light base of clear acrylic onto the natural nail so that it helps to prevent any staining and uh, reduce lifting and so on so i just went in with that bead and the second bead right on top and now i'm going in with my cuticle bead and these are not large beads at all they are very small beads and i'm just using that to cover the nail up and as i said before i use my clear acrylic to basically build the nail up So I do apply the clear acrylic in the same order that I applied the colored acrylic right on the free edge and then another one, the second bead basically is used to build the apex up and then I go in with a small cuticle bead and blend that into the second bead. And with this acrylic that I mixed, um, there are like some chunks in it. I mean I didn't blend it out as much as I could so I do have like a bit of chunks in it but but once the liquid like goes over it and you pat it in it blends in with the rest of the acrylic. This is what the nails look like once all the acrylic is applied and now i'm just going to go in with my electric file i like going in with the electric file first to kind of like 
clean up the edges and seal the cuticle of the nails and then I just smooth it over the top of the nail. I don't really do much with the electric file. So I'm just gonna like do that over all the nails. I like going on the free edge first and going under it as well to clean up right there. Check the sides and clean the side area and then seal the cuticle area. I hold the nail down always whenever I'm at the cuticle and I angled <laughs> and I angle my electric file so that I don't cut the client's fingers. So you guys can see that I kind of like turn the nails on the side and see if I need to like debulk with the electric file before I go in with my hand file as well. So you guys can go ahead and just enjoy the filing portion of the video. my hand file I flipped my client's hand around and from client's view I am seeing if the nails are okay I'm going back in with my hand file and I'm just trying to like perfect the shape and then right after doing that I go in with my buffer to smooth any scratches that I have made with my hand file Removed all the dust and now it's time for the fun part. I'm applying glossy top coat to my nails and I always try to go in with top coat especially whenever I'm gonna do a design on top because the top coat helps to prevent your design from like getting into the scratches made from the buffer or the hand file that I used and that kind of lets the work your work look a bit messy because it will seem as if it will seem as if the design is bleeding on the nail it basically doesn't look smooth okay that's what i'm trying to say so go in with your top coat first before you apply any designs and cure that
So this is a design that she showed me. I tried to like replicate that uh, diagonal thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, see with me, I'm tired. <laughs> so I'm going in with my white gel top. I'm talking crap. So I went in with my white. <laughs> I went in with my white gel polish. This is uh, from Ellie Pink. That's their white gel polish. And I'm basically just drawing a diagonal line. It's kind of like a half French. Yeah, half V French. And I'm just going to do one coat of this white gel polish on each nail. So once that is done, I let her cure that and then I pulled out my pigment powders and I'm going to go in first with the orange pigment and I did not apply any top coat on top of these white nails so it's just a gel polish that is cured that I'm pressing the powder into. You don't want to put top coat on especially if it's like a no wipe top coat. You don't want to add that on because the pigment won't stick properly to the nails. You want that sticky feel that the gel polish has on its own to help to grab the pigment onto the nail. So I'm just taking that brush and I'm just patting it in. I think I need to change this brush for doing my pigments because it's a bit wild. And because of that, the pigments that got on places that I didn't want to to get just a tad so um yeah but th the design still came out looking real cute i'm going in with the yellow and i'm just kind of like overlapping it over onto the orange to give it kind of like a ombre look and then i'm going in with the green and i'm overlapping it onto the yellow once more and between each color I do clean my brush off in a hand towel like dust it off so that the color that I used previously does not like mix in with the other color that I'm using then I'm gonna use the brush and I'm just gonna dust off the excess pigments off the nails ensure to take it like off that nude part as well I try to clean off as much as possible I even went in with my fingers to like wipe it off so that whenever I'm top coating I won't top coat any pigments onto the nail Oh yeah, I'm going in with the glossy top coat once more and I'm just going to put that on top of this design to protect it because I will be going back over with some more white gel polish to like create a diagonal line on top. So I want to like secure that in just in case I need to like clean up the lines. I won't disturb the design below. Okay, so whenever you're working in layers with a design, you want to cure on top of each design. Do you guys see that? Like that, that was a raindrop. 
it was pouring rain <laughs> that day right there and like it was coming through the window that oh my gosh <laughs> anyway so i slowly did my lines and i used my cleanup brush it's a bit messy okay don't laugh at my brush to clean up and this is why i used the top coat in between so that you know it won't disturb the design below and uh these brushes are from amazon if you guys are interested it came in a set of three the purple one the white one and a black one it's like basically six different brushes two-sided well it's three brushes but you have a double end on each so i am in love with these striper brushes because they make my line work so much easier so so much easier so if you guys are interested you can get that i'll try to put the link in the description box below And once that is done, I let her cure and then I move on to the other hand. And then finally, I'm going to seal that design in with another layer of top coat so that everything is like all sealed smooth and secure, okay? <laughs> See some pigment like in the creases there of the cuticle, so I went in with like some acetone to clean that off. So now I'm just going to dust off the excess pigment powder that got loose everywhere and I'm going to go in with my cuticle oil, you know, for the finishing touch and then I will show you guys the reveal. These are the finished nails guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video i really love the way that they came out they look really similar to that inspo picture that she showed me don't forget to like and subscribe guys and leave a comment down below tell me what you think of this set i think they are fire and i will catch you guys in my next video later